dropping in. I realized when I stay away from stream that long, I really should put up a timer when I'm like within 10 minutes of coming back. I think that would, uh, that would probably ease the process a lot. I don't know why I don't do that. I think it's because I'm like, I feel like it's so unpredictable. Anyway, it's time for Quake. Oh, update queued. Let's pull that on. Why, why does Steam download some updates but not others? I don't know. Maybe I had, I said it some weird way. Right, I'm gonna play Quake. So, qu wait a minute. I think I had to pick another executable. I'm, uh, I've played through the campaign, such as it is. Um, I'm on the map packs now, the first expansion, which has a name. And I think that means I needed to pick one of the other expansions. Get ready for some herp. Trent Reznor, what sound does a guy make when he jumps? Trent, are you sure? Okay. Okay, he knows what he's talking about. Uh, yeah, I think Scourge of Armagon. Oh, no, wait, that's right. That's just the original executable. They're all packaged in here. Never mind. Steam is all about downloading. It waits for a time of its own choosing. Yeah, and sometimes that time doesn't come for a lot of games. They'll just sit there. Uh, Gamunra, thank you for the resub. That's right. It's time to herp. It's time to herp like we used to. I mean, it's a good... What's weird is, like, all of the sound effects in this game are just, like, a little bit wrong. Uh, and it works really well. All right. Yeah, Scourge of Armagon. What do, what do bad, what's the sound bad guys make when they blow up? Yelp. Correct. You're correct, Trent. They do go, yelp. That's exactly the sound that a monster makes when it blows up. Hey. Yelp. Oh, crap, I gotta remember how to play. Uh, I have no ammo. Interesting. Past me, did my <laughs> past me kind of fucked me over, huh? Ooh, okay. Oh wait, that's the beginning of the level. That's right. Yelp. Uh, maybe I just need to run past. Wouldn't be the first time. Yelp. Yelp. All right. Ah, that's opening. All right. Yes! <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, I'm back, Loof. Getting right into it. Clearing levels. Blap, blap. Knocking them out. This music is awesome. Uh, sort of Reznor's MO sounds that are slightly off. Yeah. It's, it, it's so weird because it's, it feels like it would... Like, just breaking something is easy. But he always knows how to break something and still make it sound consistent. Or cohesive. Yeah. Get, get Jonathan speed run on the line. Get games done quick on the horn. We got a speed run. Save. Okay. Now oh, this game is so butter. It's so ridiculous. Oh. What sound is that? What sound does somebody make when they get hurt? Nyay. Correct. Aye! Spike mine? What the heck is that? So Quake is Doom on steroids back then? Pretty much, yeah. It's like, it's got that... It's got that Doom level of speed, but it's, uh, 3D. Okay, let's try to go this way. Aye! But I heard laughing. I got tricked. But... Yeah, these are the hop Hoppy Boys. Scruffy Fern, thanks for the sub. You know what? I am. It does honestly warm my heart a little bit. Quake seems to play really well in the modern day. Uh. Hey. I think maybe the guns... The guns are a little weird. And the fact that you can't rebind them sucks. 
All right. Oh, that was the mine that killed me before. How bizarre. They spawn? Horn of Conjuring. Are you my friends? Can you guys help me? Look at these dynamic shadows. This is outrageous. Oh, you can rebind them in the CFG file? Okay. That's a little bit better then. How's it going, buddy? Why are you turning away? I wanna I wanna see your I wanna see who I'm sending Christmas cards to. Ah. Like it looks like he's smiling. This remastered Quake, yes. Yes, it is. It is the uh, expansion content. So this is this is rare Quake. There's a weird blurring effect that happens when I'm like strafing left or right. It looks like I'm seeing two frames of the game at once. Very weird. I wonder if that's a thing I can turn off. Oh, really? Huh. Maybe that's just a display thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! But they do RTX. Uh, there's like, there's dynamic lighting, but I don't, I don't know that there's RTX really anywhere. There could be. But it would it would be silly. God oh, damn it! Fuck! Damn, dude. Here's what I need to do. Yeah, get in there. Get in there. Hurt somebody. Get out of the way, though. Bro! Ah, oh, now you let me through. Okay. Ah. Delicate plan foiled. My homie's not helping. Whoa! Damn it. I get up there. All right. Guys, help! Crap. I need you to. I'm low on ammo. Come on, let's do this. See, look at those shadows. Look at them moving around. Wow. Dynamic lighting. You have helpers? Yeah, sure. That's what these are. My only Quake experience was the N64 version. And that wasn't really Quake 1. Uh, wait, was it? Uh, maybe it was. Yeah. Because I, I, Quake 2 came out on N64 as well, except it wasn't Quake 2. It was like a, a different game called Quake 2. That kind of looked like Quake 2. I don't know, it was weird. I guess sort of similar to... Yeah, there was like a Quake 64, right? Hey, what's up, Tomcat? We, uh... Okay, everything's dead and I have a couple of rockets. So that's good. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, there's like... There's proximity grenades for some reason. Okay. Would be great to have some ammo. Looty McShooty69, thank you for the cheer. You're here to see some loots or shoots? Well, I can promise at least one of those. Uh, the loot definition might have to get a little loose. But you're here to game, and I like it. Ah! Mini Figon? Mini Fig 1. Thank you very much for the prime.
Aish. Okay, I'm fully, I'm fully empty now. They can't give me any more monsters because I'm empty. All right, I have two. Oh, God damn it, I have two rockets. Okay. Bro, come on. I, think, I don't think I can kill him with two shots. There's got to be something else around here. You guys are no help. Turn into ammo if you could. Oh, shoot! I have to hit it. Ow! Wrong button. Oh, I hate these things. It's going to murder me. It's going to kill me. Are they suggesting that I use this to fight those? What the fuck? What? Ah. Uh. Oh. That doesn't seem better. I still don't have ammo. There's no ammo down there. What? Oh, damn you. Damn it. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're the ones who throw that. Those spike balls that explode it. <laughs> God, uh, I can see it. Eh, eh. Ah, shit. Okay. Great. On about this one. On about this one, fellas. I'll try to go through that goddamn area again. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Ah. You bitch. I think Ah. Uh, no. Oh, there's no reason to go there. I have to like open this other door. A switch somewhere. Before I'll get any ammo or bullets or anything. These bars are open elsewhere. You run a fool's errand, gamer. These bars are open elsewhere. All right. All right, dude. All right, door. Shit. Options are running thin. Ah, okay. They think they're helping, and to some degree that's charming. But. It would be better if they actually did something. Actually shot an enemy. Okay. I gotta, like, make it down this hallway. What is making that stupid sound? Apparently like Quake 64 was the nickname for the N64 port of Quake, which was largely the same, but there were enough differences to warrant different names. Like enemy placements. Similar. Ah, okay. Yes, Blackbird, it is Quake 2 that has RTX. That is correct. Uh, unfortunately, like, there was like a... There's like a work-in-progress ray trace mod for Quake 1 since the source... Oh, fuck you. Holy cow! I don't know about this. The, uh, the source code for Quake is available. Oh, no! Okay, there's shotgun shells, which is still not great. Ah. Fuck. Fuck! If he moves to the center, I can't move past him. If any of them stand in the center of the hallway, I'm fucked. Woo! 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 How? Shit. All right. Well, whatever. I have ammo. Still in a better spot than I was. What? 
What? Oh! That's what that sound was. My guy's got... got... or oh, one got... What? Uh, whatever. I thought one of my boys got killed, but I guess not. Calls for a beer? Well, thank you, Yondo. Always time to crack open a beer. Pop one open in the courtroom. The judge says, you know what? I respect you, sir. There's a man who knows what he wants. And he wants beer. Good for you. Oh! Oh! You can't shoot those! You gotta scrape him off on something. Ugh, god. Okay. Alright. I'm safe scumming like a like a madman right now. <laughs> What's going on? I hear sounds. Oh. What the? Oh, there's a lot of little, little, little fellas running around down there. A lot of little guys. That <laughs> cracks open a beer. Your Honor, my client pleads guilty. <laughs> what? No, I don't! You know, when the beer drinking lawyer's on the case, we go through so many, go through so many cases. It's crazy. Way more efficient than all those other lawyers who don't drink beer and immediately plead guilty. There's something special about this guy. Give him a car and a raise and a beer. <laughs> Just that lawyer from The Simpsons. Yeah, Lionel Hutz. God, what a great character. What is this? What did that do? Oh! Environmental exploration. What is it? I already shot that. I tried to drink vodka in court and suddenly I was in contempt of court. And had to, a problem... Who is he to judge me? Oh, he was the judge. I'd be surprised how many of us have substance abuse problems. Just because of the, like, demands of the job. I can see that. There was a point where I kind of understood, uh, why, like, performers might... Might develop a coke habit or something like that when you need something to, like... When it's your job to be energetic and you don't always... It's not always just there. When you got a sparkle. Jesus Christ. You're malnourished, you know? Or where, like, professional athletes might develop a... painkiller addiction. You're in pain, but you gotta play. What you get paid to do? Wonder if you could be successful on Twitch just taking naps on stream. So I'm, I'm sure somebody's tried. Oh, it's invent. Oh, okay. I thought it was. I thought that was quad damage. Never mind. It's sparkle eyes. They don't know how to handle my sparkle eyes. Amaranth did that? Yeah. I'm sh it probably worked out okay. Sometimes, uh... Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, I guess I guess that thing is open now? Uh, sometimes when you're as popular as, like, Amaranth, I feel like it's less, is it is it profitable and more, is it as profitable as these other things I can do that are also super profitable? Oh. God damn. I think, like, a dude spawned right behind me, yeah. So maybe... Napping on stream isn't worth Amaranth's time. But it could be worth yours. Nap on Twitch is what I'm telling you to do. Realize your dreams. Sleep and snooze in front of an audience of millions. 
you might like grumble a little bit and then everyone's gonna cheer. People pop off in chat because you went <laughs> Oh my god, he talked! I can't believe it! Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I got the key. That's right. Ooh, I'm learning through eating healthier. I'm putting a thousand less calories in that I actually need. Like you're eating too too little? <laughs> I've been trying to hit 1700. I usually land, if I'm like honest, I usually land maybe around 19 to 2000, which is not great for weight loss. I need to I need to trim that last like the last snack out of my day. But I'm I'm excited for some weeks to go by and to make some headway. I've been trying to uh, change how I eat pretty significantly. Oh God, no. Okay, I have rockets still. Woo! Holy moly. The, like, raw efficiency of uh, rockets means you end up using them a lot, which is really dangerous, because these are not always the biggest environments. Twitch streaming gets canceled for sleep talking? Oh! What an interesting... What an interesting problem. Well, yeah, what if... What if a streamer says some questionable, some shady shit while they're sleeping? Empathy shields? What the hell is that? Maybe it's like reflect damage or something? I'm sure I'm still taking damage. Oh yeah, I guess Roseanne. Like, I was on Ambien. Basically, like... Sleepwalking. Oh wait, these guys are not- these guys are strong to rockets. I don't have any nails though. I don't have anything! Oh my gosh. I can't- I don't have enough ammo to kill all those dudes. And look at me with my shield gone. Whoops, wrong way. Well, time to run. Ow. Please let me by. Thank you. That might be the end of the stage. The name of the protagonist game named John Quake. If you want to believe that's the case, then yes. His name is Ag I think he's actually just called the Ranger. Or Ranger. He is a Ranger. That's it. That's all you get. Jonathan Quake Ranger. That's what the Jonathan Q. Jonathan Q. The Q is for Quake. Uh, it's all spelled out like that. Ranger. That's his name. John Quaker Qu Quimothy Q Oats Ranger. Alright, yeah, that's what they wanted you to do. Dominated Dominion. What does that mean? Oh, is that the end of the first expansion? Okay. After destroying the power generator, you pass beyond the gates of Mortem's Keep. A wave of nausea suddenly flows over you, and you find yourself cast out into a liquid void. Ah. I gotta not force that so much. You float lifelessly, yet aware in a lavender sea of energy. Wait, what? I'm like in a, a dimension between dimensions, the lavender void? After what seems like an eternity, you feel the presence of a diabolical intelligence. You are held helpless for a moment as your mind is open to that of Armagon, Quake's general and master of this realm. I guess Quake is a, a thing, huh? Recognizing you as the one who foiled his attempts to conquer Earth, a hellish howl fills your mind and blots out all consciousness. When you awake, you find yourself on the shores of reality, but in a time and place unknown to you. Cool. This is good. Just going to DLC 2? 
Whoa, whoa! Like big open areas? Blue sky boxes? Cool. Any hetero dude would want to die that way? Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I see what you mean. The legacy of Amaranth. I thought I in my in my mind's eye. I can't help but admit, I had hoped you were talking about dying by dissolving into the lavender void. Floating as mere consciousness while an eldritch terror's general talks some shit. Casts you into another dimension. Ah uh, yes, of course, yes. Of course, of course we are all 100% focused on Quake lore. Ow! And not, uh... On streamers with goodies. Ow! Shit! Shit, shit, shit. It hurts! Eee! I saw it on screen! It's still chasing me! God damn it! Ha! Huh. Oh, gosh darn it. I think I have to do this again. I didn't save. Uh, maybe it... Actually, hold on. Maybe there's an auto... Nope! There's not. Okay. Yeah, the saves in this game are kind of quirky. Whatever, I just have to run around a corner. I think? There wasn't another level, was there? No. Wait a minute, wrong way. Screen gave me nightmares as a kid when I first played this. It's very traumatic. It sounds like it really hurts. Like a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chad doesn't care, Quake. Chad doesn't care about all the lore. <laughs> I know, I'm upset too. Let's see. This, there's not really a reason to go over there. There's some rockets, but that's, there's a whole mess of trouble and damage I don't need to, need to take. Dang it! Wait, what? I don't think I have anything that can blow those guys up yet. I think the hammer, actually, no, I don't have it. Never mind. I seem to, seemed to observe, perhaps mayhaps observed. Oh, right. Gosh darn it. That the hammer actually give to the zombies. Can we get a Sonic command? What would it say? Just to talk about Sonic? Or to perhaps mention that a very spooky Halloween-inspired playthrough of Sonic Unleashed is on the horizon. I don't know what day yet. I actually just learned that I'd ob obligated myself to, to something this week, so... Hey! Ooh! Oh! That's what- Oh! Hey! Shit. Oh, cool! Oh, come on! God, these things. There. Ooh. Best of Trawl. Thank you for the Prime. Yeah, Sonic is the best. And he's my friend. This is really interesting. I'm gonna save first though, because I feel like I'm gonna get shot at with by a bunch of shit. It's not gonna be fair. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Riding a little tram. How the fuck? Shit. Huh. Ow! Jeez. Hachimachi. Oh, you have a Quake's OST on vinyl sealed and it's gonna stay that way? Oh, neat. I've, um, I got that too and I haven't opened it yet. I should though. For a while I got in the habit of, uh, 
starting the weekend, like opening Friday night by playing a vinyl and having a drink at home, and kind of relaxing. Felt very adult. But I haven't been listening to vinyl too much lately. Uh, our turntable broke like they always do. How the... I swear to God, I'm missing with like half the shots. This guy's wiggle dancing between my shotgun shells. So crazy good. Good lord. Favorite album? Uh, in that scenario, uh, the Grand Theft Auto V soundtrack. I was actually lucky enough to get the GTA V score uh, on vinyl. I think they sent it to the Funhouse office. Uh, no one else wanted it. So... Yeah. That music is incredible. That's right, I forgot. The hammer does like a lightning thing if you have... If you have electricity. Oh, God. Oh, good lord. I can pick up all this shit first. I guess I'm really low on health. Also, I can just leave. How about that, assholes? No! Oh! There was a mine! I thought I was smart. There was a mine! Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh, Jesus. Just had the strangest ad? What was that, Nomad the Kid? This is where you last stopped playing? The, yeah? I could see this specific thing being like, you know what, I'm good. I'm good for today. And then maybe not coming back quite so quickly. Oops. Man. Did you ever go to any Quake Cons? Yeah. I started going in... I think it was kind of like halfway through college, basically, when I had like... I don't think I went when I was in high school. I went to like some... Some of my friends would host LAN parties that I would go to. And then there was some regional stuff, but Quake Con I think I started going to in the early 2000s. And then, yeah, we'd go every year if I could. They shell shakes there and call them quake shakes. They should have. But no, unfortunately, they did not. Oh, yeah, there's armor over here. No, Bowels Energy was the sponsor of QuakeCon. Which is good for them, but this is a G Fuel establishment. Ooh, Bruce Raid. Ah, welcome, Gooses. Tesseract, thank you for the resub. Scoot, Joseph, thank you for the sub. You guys have come on a very special time. This is the beginning of stream week. An entire a stream, uh, a week-long stream. Uh, basically, I have this art project called Media Tech that I've been contributing. I don't know where my phone is. I wanted to turn on lights back here. Anyway, but I've been contributing uh, clips and stuff too for a very long time. So, ow, that's... That's what will be on while I am sleeping, or eating, or cooking, or whatever. That's kind of it. And apart from that, it's going to be this guy streaming the whole time. So the idea is to just provide either constant streams, or just like background noise. Keep the content rolling. Halo Dudette, thanks for gifting five subs. Appreciate that. And that's just kicking off. Ow! Brr. Hey, I made the quake noise. Turns out it was accurate. Uh, I'm playing the... S I guess I made it to the second expansion for Quake 1. That's what I'm playing through now, so... This is some pretty... Pretty deep content. Not seen by many eyes. Many gamer eyes. They're gonna get some... Raw, exclusive Twitch action. Coming right up. Oh, yeah. 
Rodriguez. Hey, hope you have a great night. Can't stay as Quake gives me headaches. There's something about it that triggers something in my brain. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, but there is something about the way it moves. And I can understand if it's a little too much. Well, hopefully next time, uh, hopefully next time I'll be playing something you don't get headaches with. And we can get to chatting. Does Quake have a story? Kind of. Kind of. It's, uh... It's very kind of generically Eldritch Terror. Oh, I don't have any ammo. That's why. They talk about Quake as some kind of formless entity that's that tried to invade Earth, and you as the ranger, uh, who might be human but kind of doesn't sound like it, prevented prevented this from happening. Ooh, there's a little buzzsaw. How exciting. Uh, so Quake's not, not too happy with you. Okay. Those things shoot like homing missiles after you. And they don't stop chasing forever. Also, I, I think I see a hype train. Oh, damn! Oh, I went into the buzzer room. I didn't get chopped. Quake Taggart's bunny got killed. You guys are going to eat up all my ammo. Yep. What, quite literally what has occurred. That's a big empty uh, so, and then you run through all kinds of fantastic dimensions shooting, uh, shooting ancient beasts. It's just, it's like, it's as, basically as formless as Doom was. Ooh. But it's more, it's more about, like, insanity and crazy stuff than it is about, uh, jeez, than it is about demons. Things that flay at your mind and undo your soul. God, I'm out of ammo. I need ammo. Or that thing. That'd be useful. Oh, I see. I see how it goes. Ow, ow, ow. I don't quite see how it goes. Hold on. You have to jump on this? Uh, <laughs> This on Switch is pretty good with motion controls? I could I, could, I feel like I could see that. Uh, I don't know. Part of me feels like it just moves so fast, though. I see, I see. Uh, this is not much. Didn't I get that hammer? Oh, no, wait. That was last level. That's right. Hey, that's that's Yowza. That's hurt sauce. What the? What is that? What are they doing? Why are they like that? Oh, because they're waiting to kill me. I see. Ow. Ah. Uh. <sighs> okay. It doesn't even kill one of them. Jesus. playing on hard because I'm a gamer. That means I gotta jump through a few hoops sometimes. Ugh, oh, God, why? I'm just so excited. Yeah, the bouncing is cute, I have to admit. Okay, that takes care of them. I can get this health. There's ammo up there. Yeah, they're just bouncing. They're just bouncy boys. It's okay to be a bouncy boy. Damn it! Not okay to be this boy, though. Epic fight. Epic fight to get to the nails so that I can shoot something. I haven't finished exploring the basement. Oh. I wonder if that's timed. 
Oh, there's stuff in there. Let me go get it. What a ring of invisibility, I think. You're playing Parasite Eve. Yes, actually. Oh, right. That isn't this isn't this level. Yeah, this is the first place I died and then didn't reload. Um, I have. What the hell was that? I liked Parasite Eve a lot. I'm really enjoying that game. Oh, that's where I. Right. Yes, now I remember. This is just where I went first. Okay. I I can't waste the ammo. Let's see here. Thank y'all for the hype train. I appreciate that. Pick up these sick power-ups. Look at how spooky I am! My big old po spooky pokey eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna spook you. I'm gonna run up and, and scare you. Oh, how do you? I just don't see how you're supposed to get up there. I wonder if I can axe chop all these stupid jumpy boys. No, they know I'm there when I axe chop. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Oh. Alright. Rocket jump to the thing? Ah, I don't want to hurt myself. Yeah, I know. Thank you for gifting a sub. I don't want to take the damage. I guess standing in acid's probably not not great for my health either. Yeah, most people seem to say that that third birthday isn't really a Parasite Eve game. They just called it that for whatever reason. Uh, is there another. There was another place to use the blue key. Ah! I have, I have no health. Didn't help that I got hit by stupid traps. There's still there's still spider guys on the roof, right? Yes. I wonder if they're hurting themselves when that happens. One got after me? Okay. Sounds like it. Right? Maybe they just scream when they attack. Oh, this is gonna make everyone motion sick. I need to stop that. <laughs> Man, for real. Ah. Uh. No! Why did I do that? Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, I forgot there was a weapon wheel. That looks weird. Wait, I've been... Uh, yeah, I bet they're here. Look at this. This whole vibe is different, though. The, like, white stone and more light... White light kind of shining around. Quake 1 campaign is all these, like, really dark, cryptic... Crypts and stuff. Ugh. The intense le uh, left and right head bobbing is pretty fucky. Oh yeah, where you like lean? Yeah. That's that's a little strong in this game. It's kind of a trademark though, yeah. Where you tilt. Alright. Ta-da! Come! Come and help! Go kill everything for me, please! Give me a break. Oh, they eat? That's cute. Yeah. 
Yes. Save me ammo, please. That's why you're here. Oh no. That little that little homing thing is really cleaning out his butthole. Just really scraping it out. Oh! Pal, you got a got a little got a little eldritch charge downstairs. A little magic ball flicking around. Uh, free loofah? <laughs> is this RTX Quake? No, unfortunately. That's Quake 2. This is Quake 1. Go kill it! Oh! Uh, I don't want it! Stay away from my butthole! Stay away! Jeez, no! Ah. I thought I was going to be able to make this jump. I just came in at a weird angle, I guess. Yes, yes. So happy to see you. Yeah, he's clearly very excited. I don't know. There's something really cozy about low poly 3D. You can like, you can see the aspiration. You can see the boundaries of technology. It's, it's so adorably like right right in front of you. Ah, Christ. Can you, can you get down, get down there and do this for me, please? What? You're getting shot? What's going on? Oh, the little ball finally exploded. Come on, bud. I know you're scared. You're scared of stairs. But I believe in you and I really need you to be able to come down here and shoot these guys for me. Because <laughs> I will die. Don't you understand? They'll kill me. God damn it. Please come back. I need you to come back. Uh. Fuck. Hey, there we go. Ooh, a 3D quake. I must have taken somebody all day. Oh! 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 Leap into the exit below, John Quake. Well, who am I to who am I to argue with on-screen text? Huzzah! Damn! I only got like half the kills. That's crazy. How'd you get helpers in this game anyway? Do you have to shoot them with a mind control weapon or something? Oh, there's like, in the expansion, I guess there's a power-up that just gives you friendly units. It's kind of neat. Oh boy, that music is going, huh? That music... Now this is like, what, what sort of turned into Quake 2, I feel like. This exact thing right here. Sheet metal and green and brown and synth rock. Space Marines and laser guns. What an interesting divergence in like intent. Both musically and, and like artistically. Went from like these pristine stone halls and weird spooky ethereal stuff to grimy techno dungeon. Hole in the ground led to an underground rave. That's a good point, yeah. That's what... That's why we were being instructed to... To go down here. Come to the party. Bring beer. Aldrich Terrors need more beer. Jesus, Jesus, it took a lot of shots. What the hell was that? I guess, I guess those guys are hit scan. I need to respect them a lot more.
Ah! Bold play. Bold ass play. Bold ass play. Quake falls into the category of things I was scared of for no particular reason as a kid. Also the band tool. I don't know, it's it's intimidating. It's very adult, isn't it? Very loud and aggressive. Is beer your go-to drink? Uh not really. I enjoy it though. If actually you know what? If I'm splur if I'm splurging on a meal, then yeah, actually it might be. I am I definitely view it as like a treat now though. You definitely, uh, you definitely cross over into another phase of life when you're like, ooh, a beer, instead of like, beer. <laughs> it's Thursday. Oh, damn. At least I'll always have dirt, 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 dirt. Keep hitting the wrong button. It's hard to get to seven. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah. Was the music from Quake made by Nine Inch Nails? Uh, for the original Quake, yeah. But I would... I'm gonna... Uh, this doesn't sound like... This doesn't sound like Trent Reznor to me. So I don't think all the music for the expansion packs were... This sounds like it might be more early Sonic Mayhem. Who did the uh, son soundtrack for two. Actually sounds much more in line with what that ended up sound like, sounding like. My ass mine. What the hell's that? Ah! Nail scorp! Damn. I actually have to touch that? Huh. I was scared of the screensaver brick maze as a kid, so I can understand the doom and quake fears. There was definitely something about early 3D that kind of freaked people out. I remember people being pretty mortified of doom, and I never found it to be that scary of a game. Uh, but I guess it was just like... It just really, really engaged people's imaginations in a way that made it a lot more real. Oh, look at this levolution. Quake. Oh, look at that. Get levoluted. Oh. Oh, a barrier has opened. Okay. Ow. Ah! I hit shift to back dash. You're always dashing in this game. Always dash enabled. Do I- am I really full on nails? What a delightful situation to be in. Yeah, this level's a lot less stingy on ammo, which is nice. Alright, a barrier opens somewhere. Alright. Oop. Oh! That could have been bad. Doom was my first ever game when I was six years old. Scared the crap out of me. Oh, that's a rough one to start with. I gotta start with Mario or like reading Rabbit or something. Skippy time is fun junction. Oh, okay. Jeez. Although, I bet there was an enti just an entire generation of... Ah! Damn! People whose first game was like GTA 3 or something like that. Senior Realist, or Surrealist, thank you for the sub. Hello and welcome to the week-long stream. Where I'll be here for at least half the time. But, still gotta, still gotta sleep. Spirit is willing, the body is weak. First game was Giant Citizen Kabuto, wow. I must have set an interestingly high bar of expectation for the creativity of r random games. Oh! I 
got a key. I got the blue key. I was definitely too young to understand what was even happening in Quake. I was never scared, just pissed off that I kept losing. I remember games being like that. Like, you just don't have the cognitive ability to... to sort of, like, process everything. Though, I actually have some pretty powerful memories of being, like, yeah, just generally frustrated with a game. Because it's, it's asking something that I just didn't have the cognitive ability to, to, pr to like, understand and deliver. Uh, I remember, like... I remember renting Final Fantasy 3 for the Super Nintendo and playing it and kind of kind of thinking I knew what was going on, but largely every time I had to go somewhere, I just had to kind of guess because I didn't really have, like, I didn't understand the story. And I didn't understand, like, continuity between parts of the game, but I liked the music a lot and the art was really cool. So, and this was like, God, I had to be like, f I, I was old enough to read, but not old enough to understand, like, the nuances of interpersonal relationships. I don't know. I don't know where that puts me. Maybe five. Anyway, uh, I remember getting to the, like, out of pure like just bashing buttons and uh, the game's actually not that hard at the beginning, but out of just experimentation, ah, that hurt. Getting to the uh, the fight with Sabin, where you have to do a pummel properly, and uh, I couldn't figure out the instructions for that, so I got stuck there. And then I remember coming back, like, years later, when my brain had, like, shriveled up a little bit, and played it again, and I was like, Oh, first of all, that's how you do a pummel. Second of all, holy shit, is that what was going on here the whole time? This whole story that I just did not really have the faculties to process? That was a fun experience. Oh, I've already been dipping down here. One of my first was Tekken, and I just mashed buttons. Yeah. When you, when you don't have the wrinkles to, like put all that stuff together. It's fun to just hit buttons and see things happen. Remember that. Oh, wait, this is where I opened the barrier. I remember molding pretty hard at Xenosaga's first boss when I was in high school and picked the game. When I picked up the game again, I steamrolled it first try. Nice. We've come so far. All of us. We're... So hold on, I need to back out this area. This game was Zelda 2. Didn't have a fucking clue what I was doing. Yeah. I remember, I remember trying to play Legend of Zelda as a kid. The original. And just like... I don't know. Just kind of wandering around with drool coming out of my mouth. Like That's what I did. There was a save file on the cartridge because it was a rental. Of somebody who had all the items. Uh, and it was fun to play around with the items. Oh... Oh man, that that's it though. That's the end of the level. Crap, where was that? Oh, I'm right here. Wait, yeah, I have the I have the gold key. Great, okay. Damn it. Can't afford to take fall damage. <laughs> First game I remember playing was Road Rash, a motorbike street racing game where you beat the shit out of your opponents while racing. Yeah, that's a classic. I remember that one being pretty popular. I'm bringing the lights down a little bit. I need to find my phone so I can turn on some spooky lights. I must have left it somewhere else. Well, I need water anyway. So uh, I'll step away for just a second and I'll be right back. See you guys in a minute. I didn't- I didn't get my phone. I think I know where it is. Hold on. I was like, there was something else I was supposed to do. It's like my sweat shorts. It's hot. It was hot in LA today. I'm excited to get- to get some weather. Like, for it to get colder so I have... Some more options, more stylish options. All right, we're gonna go with disturbing darkness. Oh, look at that! You guys should have been pissed off because you were missing out on disturbing darkness this whole time. Ports McBerts, what's up? I'm doing great. Jump through the roof to get to exit. Good job, Quake. I oh, know I'm not Quake. Bad guy Quake. 
69 out of 69 kills. Light him up, boys. We got us a meme. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, this is the song that sounds like tribes. It's weird to hear a song that I know for a fact I would have listened to a lot. You know, when I was like... God, how old would I have been? Exactly the right age. I don't, what, like 12? 13? Something like that. You know what? You know what fucking rips? And something that I would I never quite expressed gratitude into the universe for is that I watched Evangelion for the first time when I was 14. Isn't that the coolest thing in the world? There's no better... Well, that's pretty early, I guess. But still, pretty fucking mind-blowing at that age. Also, it's a little more self-insertion-y. Ugh. The insertion of that I'm going anyway ah love the triangle bullets see yeah. they can be polygons now ah. 3d bullets ow 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 damn it it's like firing it perfectly up the stairs I thought they were gonna hit a step but What? Why can't I switch to the other one? Switch to the other one! You just... That's weird. Oh, maybe I don't have the regular grenade launcher. Huh. I, tr I triggered them too? Oh, those are not so bad. I thought they jumped way more. Oh, they're, just, they're chill. They're chill. They're chill bad boys. Have y'all read Masters of Doom? I have it on my, I have it on the Kindle app. I, so I intend to read it. Just kind of waiting to be stuck with my phone. The next time that I'm like in a waiting room or something, probably when I'll crack it open. I, I can't remember if that activates when you pick it up or if you can hold it. Okay, it activates. All right, all right. Dude! <laughs> I'll try this. How about that? How about that? What if I just know where everything is? to kill a lot of stuff. What are you? Cool. 3D! Same with Serial Experiments Lane. Gotta hit the headspace just right, depressed or otherwise. I couldn't... You know what? Lane didn't grab me. Lane didn't grab me. Maybe I didn't have the requisite amount of depression. Which isn't... Having Gellion also seems like it's a depressive show. Everyone was real... I was real down. Is there an underwater level in Quake? Like entirely underwater? I don't I haven't I haven't played one yet. Maybe there will be. Maybe the pioneers at machine games have done it again. Ooh. What if Quake was extra spooky? These spooky old eyeballs poking out at you. Where? Damn it. I just not gone up here? No? Okay. Uh. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Holy fuck. What a shit show. Holy cow. No way. They're not gonna make me do this. Ah. Oh. I didn't even know I was picking that up. Man, we are absolutely, under no circumstances, picking up that key. Not happening. Not yet, anyway. Who we? Oh. Gosh darn. Crazy, crazy amounts of. Uh, look at them. Look at all these guys. Look at these. Uh. It's like they're all waiting to get into like a, sp like a sports game. It's all the dads lined up at the. It's like they're waiting for couches. Dads and sweaters waiting for couches. Comfortable couches. And with the 360 Unga Bunga. Been years since I busted out that trick. Alright, fine. Fine. I'll get the key. I... What is this? What's going on there? Jump this? Uh, line, line at Ikea. That's a pretty good one. Ah, shit. Jeez. Gotta drop that hot circle strafe. And then, like, I guess you have to keep bobbing in and out of melee range to try to trigger that melee attack. Ah... Because it's seemingly the only one that you can, like, dodge and punish. Holy cow. Just a grinder around the corner. And I, like an idiot child, ran into it at full speed. What the fuck are you supposed to... Oh! I guess you just gotta sprint, sprint it. Why are all the enemies pointed the other way? That seems weird. Uh. What? No! <laughs> Shit! That's what quick saves are for, I guess. Wait, what? Why am I here? Hey. I have a blue key. Probably important. Hey, I can use it here. Pick that key up? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Bart Cake Smuggler? Are you a Quake appreciator? Are you an average Quake enjoyer? I'm glad to hear it. So you will find good company on this stream. It's advantageous to be at the end of a spiral staircase with grenades! God damn. I got very lucky there. <sighs> oh. Why am I born to suffer? This music is hype, though. I like this. It's very, like, late 90s PC soundtrack. It's, like, exactly the right kind of jam for this music, though, which is very cool. Sounds super quick, too. What is down here? What is this? 
What is this? You're not gonna open for me? All right, fine. Oh. Secrets. I wasn't even on mic this whole time. Oh. Oh. Do I? Do I? I don't think I want that. I'm a picture in picture because I can resize my window to my liking. About the tiny, tinyifying resolution of my stream viewing experience. Too much? Yeah, I'm sure that like the sub feed and stuff is impossible to read at that size, but eh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I really like picture in picture too. You can, if the coziest gaming is having a stream on while you're, while you're gaming. Guess what? You can do that with picture in picture on Twitch too. I spent some cozy 20 minute stretches watching a stream and playing like a match three or something. Remember when TV said picture in picture? Yeah, that was like a huge feature and it just kind of got phased out, I guess. That was pushed, I remember, like it was considered a luxury thing. Where? I don't know where I'm going. I have a gold key now, but I don't remember where that door is. Maybe it's up here, too. Door? 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 I mean, there's been a few, a few like, paths leading me back down here, so it's gotta be down here. Remember when flat screens were considered a luxury? Yeah. Cutting edge tech. Rear projection, big ass, bright things. Hey, Sandra, what's up? Ow, that's just where this goes? I'm trying to find a gold door. Wait. Gold. Gold. What? Gold. How do I? Maybe it's not related, but that's sad. Uh, darn it. Oh. Cool. Take all of that. Gee, Sandra, I need to I need to get my ass in a round one. The new new beat mania is out. At least that's what I, I thought I saw on Twitter. The streaming styled beat mania. That's exactly that's exactly what I need in my life. I have to remember how to use the e-amusement cards. What the? Where the heck do I go? Uh, I don't think I... I don't know if I dropped all the way down here. Shoop. Here we go. Okay. Okay, that looks like some sort of scrying portal. I'll fling myself into it and see what happens. Yeah, <sighs> that was an intense level. I mean, that that music was pumping me up. Oh, this seems like a boss, a pre-boss room if, if I've ever seen one. Still not enough to max me out though. Dude! God, there's so much damage. My round one went downhill since COVID, so I rarely go. Group coaster is never working. Aw, oh, no. Huh. I wonder if they don't have an, as much staff. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, nothing suspicious at all about a game giving you a bunch of ammo and resources. Doesn't put me on edge. I think we're in a time where advancements in visuals match the advancements in fidelity. As one industry ahead of the other in terms of max output and or high quality budget options.
I suppose to like that second part of your question about which industry has the most output, I suppose that could be measured. And I guess if you you could talk about like the uh revenue takes of any given industry. But as far as like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of that stuff is just perceptual. But in that regard, in terms of opinion, I don't know, I I I kinda just only look at video games. So I don't I don't know if I can make qualifying or relative statements myself. I don't know, maybe other people could. I feel like there's I just feel like there's a lot of everything. Man, I'm getting I'm getting wrecked. Uh, it feels like no matter what you're into, you have access to an unlimited amount of that thing thanks to the internet. It's one of the things the internet has actually done is not only exposed us to the world of what's current, but also the world of what has been. The entire legacy of, of human media and art available for observation and consumption. God damn it. What's up, Zach? Wait, no, I saw Zach's emote. I thought he was here. <laughs> Quake's getting to me. Ow! Damn it. This room sucks. Holy cow, this room sucks. People need to use the smug Zach emote. Well, I misspelled it, and I, I think I have to delete it and re-add it, which I guess I could do, but that means I have to find out what folder it's in. And I don't know. I don't know where that is. <sighs> Who can be bothered? My computer has some deep archaeology stuff going on. Folders that have been there for decades. Ooh. Ah, god damn it! Ah, ah. Ah, I have enough nails to deal with it. I just keep forgetting it's at the end of a lot of other stuff. Jeez. Who Zach Sug is though? It's supposed to be Zach Smug, but I misspelled it and never noticed that until like a week ago. Uh. So it's entirely my fault. Maybe I could uh, maybe I could punch it up a little bit in that regard. Delete it and re-add it. The appropriate spelling. Because Sug is a weird thing to. It doesn't feel right to type that. I wouldn't want to type that, or pick it either. Absolutely not. Zach's mug? Could be that too. Actually, that works both ways. Glass brain. Your, your name may be glass brain, but it seems it seems pretty diamond to me. I like I like I like this. I like that. Zoogle. Exactly. With glass brain's marketing genius. We're gonna take Zoogles across the nation. Yo, Tales of Arise is real fun. I actually really, really like that game. Damn it! I have 10 health! I'm playing on hard, by the way. Because gamer. But I'm gonna complain about it. My name is also Zach, so I'll just pretend it's for me. Oh, that works, Demi. Yeah. I wholly encourage this. Oh. oh. Not having a good time up there. Hey! No spermies.
Oh, there's something back there. What is it? What is it? I'm gonna use the shotgun to kill whatever the shotgun can kill. So that I save every other kind of ammo for anything else. Is this a dope strip club? Yeah, right. <laughs> nice place you got here. Ah! Oh, that doesn't hurt at all. Hey, Pipes, thank you for the cheer. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. I'm just having a ball of a time. Now? Ooh! I... What was behind? Okay. I kept trying to switch to the rocket launcher and I kept hitting the wrong button. Pipes, thank you for the even bigger cheer. Thank you very much. You didn't even... Let me chat me out. Just... Thank you very... Thank you for the extreme generosity, Pipes. I hope you got a good Barney quote. Hey, MCMK. I'm doing all right. Ooh! Ooh, spooky. Uh, Malcolm, the uh, the character with the hat that says hacks on it. That was a particular, that was a uh, member of the stream that drew some fan art of Aiden Pierce from Watch Dogs. The person was also an intern at Funhouse. It was pretty neat. Ah! Oh no. Okay. I tripped. I fell into the goo. <laughs> I like you, you made Funhouse my favorite channel. Pipes, thank you! That's a very humbling thing to be told, I appreciate that. Damn. Well, thank you very much. I like you too. <laughs> oh! Ooh! They must, like, slip in under my field of view or something, or I'm just not paying attention. Ah! Damn it! What the... Yeesh. Oh, the only Quake you played is the N64 one back in the day? You only got so far back then? Yeah, somebody else was saying basically the same thing. I'm like, game hit way too early just cognitively know what was going on there. That's a really fun window to play games, because it is almost like you're interacting with a dream. Just, like, nothing makes sense. You don't... You don't know what is supposed to be what. It's just almost like random lights and sounds that have some form and they have their own, like, logic, but it's just so foreign and weird. Wait, no, wrong way. Thank you, Pipes. I truly am a gamer's gamer. I'm glad you understand. That's okay. The world will wake up one of these days. And understand what it is I'm trying to do. The revolution I'm trying to inspire. Maybe it's grenades under the platform that are that are being able to hit me. Ow! Pipes, thank you. Thank you for the continued cheer. As long as there's people to share gaming with, I'm going to do it. I think I see a backpack. Okay. Soon you'll have 2 million Twitch subs instead of a quite frankly embarrassing 1 million. Well, 
It's a down season on Twitch, you know. One could say it's embarrassing. Another could say that it just means a great quarter is coming up. I'm gonna have a bumper quarter for Law Dog Productions LLC. And then they'll all, they'll all say they're sorry. All of them. The revelation that you're going to be playing Sonic Unleashed suddenly inspired me to draw a fan arc of you as a Sonic character. Malcolm, I would be humbled to have that and see that and love it and get it tattooed on my body. Please do that thing. If you want to make me like, if you want to give me abs, you could do that too. You know, you don't have to, but you could if you wanted to. Like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be mad. Just so, just so you know. Just so you know. Oh no! Darn it! Gosh! Ugh. That launch was like the best I've got. Oh, holy cow. Oh! Ooh. Okay. Clearing it out. I'm surprised a million horrible things didn't spawn when I picked up that key. Yeah, the grenades? Ah, uh, they make you go uphill against them? It's alright. Key acquired. Pipes again with a giant cheer. Thank you very, very much. I squished myself in the elevator. I squished myself in the elevator. It was the dumbest way to die. This is Quake Remastered? Sure is. Sure is. This is the second ex official expansion pack from when the game came out. Back in ye olden days, when people gamed on wooden PCs that they had to crank up first with a wheel. You had to grease up the old compu shaft and get it turning. You have a favorite Quake? Uh, probably three. Yeah, probably three. Yes, back in the ancient days, you had to hand churn your video games. Anyway, there's. I, it's worth mentioning. It's salient because after this is a the last, I guess, expansion pack for the original Quake, and then for the remaster, Machine Games creators of Wolfenstein the New Order. Basically all the new Wolfenstein games. And the, the talent of which goes back to like Escape from Butcher Bay and the Darkness. They made some levels too. So yeah, I can't, I don't, I was a little fuzzy on the definition. I don't know if it was like straight up a pack of levels that those developers made back in the day when they were just m like Quake modders. Or if it was meant to be, like, new content that they had made as a dev studio to support the release. Either way, it's rad as hell. And I'm excited to, uh, experience those. There's two of those map packs as well. That was, like, straight up in tune. I, that's awesome. Yeah, you don't have to shoot in time, but that was great. Oh, and the 10 subs. Pipes. Pipes with the, the shotgun of support. Thank you. I'm trying to be a one-man hype train. I know you can't do that, but you basically did. The pipes of D play loudly tonight. Exactly. Thank you, Power, uh, power Finger. Are there favorite game mechanics that you find throughout your gamer career? 
Uh, ooh, Nanaki. Pro thank you for the prime. One of the things that I like a lot is uh, systems that allow allow input complexity and basically allow you to choose how difficult you want it to be by attempting to play in a particular way. Trying more challenging, com like risk-reward, basically. Or like playing on a harder difficulty with like, increases some kind of point multiplier and things go You're like, uh. <laughs> Flonzy, thank you for gifting five subs. Doom Eternal, yeah, I mean, yes. Fighting games are kind of that way too. I think there's there's the, a lot of that mind game behind them. Uh, Nanaki. Nananki, excuse me, thank you for the prime. And Power Finger Deluxe, thanks for gifting out five subs. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate your support of the gaming empire. That, sound, that sounded a little sinister, didn't it? Gaming commune? Hmm. Gaming singularity. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Print it and ship it. Singularity of gaming. All of our gamer brains connect together. Little laser beams connect all our brains. And we all zap and then we enter the game space. Together. And then we, ne we never know pain. And we never get old. We never know loss. And we just game forever. Every sub to this channel gets us closer to that future. Every time you buy G Fuel, 30% off code, Sirlar. Wait, what is that? Oh my gosh, the Panther of Immortality. Wow. How? <laughs> Every time gets us closer to solving death through gaming. That's what we're doing here. Glass Brain, thank you for the thank you for the sub. Oh dear. Okay. Now that seems ominous. <laughs> nice promo advertisements. Thank you. <laughs> I'm probably never gets old. I I I had hoped that that was the case. It's like it's so it's so goddamn stupid the first time you see it, and then somehow it's like the stupidness keeps building. There's the clarion call of the panther. Uh. Anyway, G Fuel gives you some ideas and helps helps you learn helps you edit stupid stuff. <laughs> As I guess the sub the subtext of that. What's going on here? I'm like wiggling around. The ground's shaking. Oh, what? What is this? Ah, oh, it's a big mech boss. Oh, he's got gun hands. I mean, it's just it's just RoboCop, right? I gotta I guess I gotta shoot him till he's dead. What else is there to do? Oh. Thank you for the cheer again, Mr. Pipes. Truly appreciate all the content you produce for us. I know it sounds corny, but you help me make it through the week. Not corny, I I understand. I have uh I have felt the way you oh, damn, he put me out. I have felt the way you feel, and I have, uh, I have shown my support accordingly, so yeah. Oh, yeah, I get where you're coming from. Actually, wait. I did save after all that stuff. Alright, let's get back into it. But I appreciate your expression. It means a lot. It's, uh, I've often felt a little guilty at how unfair it is that I get to enjoy what I do, and also people get to tell me they enjoy it too. <laughs> Most people don't get either of those things, but... Thank you. Crunchrock, thank you for the sub. Happy 22 months. Can't believe it's almost been two years. Ah, yeah, time, time, time is flying. Ooh, this guy's wrecking me up now. I just got to keep him on the other side of the arena, I guess. I was getting too close. Oh, those rockets. Okay, so the rockets trail. The lasers don't. Good God. How do you know which one he's shooting? Maybe just gotta like serpentine backwards, like give it a little wiggle. Oh, like that. Jesus. 
Uh, look at it like a ticket to the movies. You provide a service and I pay my fee. Well, thank you. I'm glad you look at it that way. Yeah, it's it's really it's a really kind thing, I think. That I'll, where I'm at right now on Twitch, I can just kind of do what I do, and people out of their own generosity and initiative decide to decide to support like you have. So thank you. I I like to keep the experiences like open and like I just like to just do my thing, and hopefully it speaks for itself and people decide that they like it enough to support. So thank you very much. It means a lot. Uh, trying to pick up my first time through Doom 2016 after not touching it for three months. I feel like I'm better off just starting a new game to reorient myself. That may be. Doom 2016 is not super long. It's like eight, eight to twelve hours, and if, yeah, if it's gonna take you longer than that to adjust. We got a cutscene though. What is this? After the last echoes of Armagon's death. Oh, that was Armagon. Okay, cool. Shot him to death. After the last echoes of Armagon's death, yell fade away. You breathe a heavy sigh of relief with the loss of his magic. Armagon's fortress begins to collapse. I love his little run so much. He has teeny little legs. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Like, run animations before they were motion captured. It's just like somebody skating on the ground. Like, because it's all hand animated. It's great. There's there's a there's a charm to exactly this window of games. I feel like John Carmack was always more concerned with pushing technology than actually making games for art's sake. That may be the case, but he got paired with other people who did that, so everyone does their part. There's no one person that has to have every virtue that ends up in a game, you know? That's what teams are for. There weren't even bones in the Quake models, really? They were just bu just hollow sacks of polygons. The rift he created to send his grisly troops through time slowly closes and seals itself forever. In the chaos that ensues, a wall collapses, revealing one remaining time portal. With your chances to escape rapidly growing slim, you race for the portal, mindless of your destination. In a flash of light, you find yourself back at Command HQ, safe and sound. Command HQ? I didn't know there was a Command HQ. Congratulations, you are victorious! The minions of Quake have once again fallen before your mighty hand. This is really cool credits music. Is this the last you will see of Quake's Hellions? Only time will tell. Cool. Good job, Night Dive. Good job, Kex development team. I guess, was that the first? That's the first expansion, probably. Now there's another expansion. And then two map packs. I think that's how that goes. Cause yeah, that was the scourge of our Ar Armagon, Ag Agamemnon, Agamemnon, Agadon. The plot is basically OG Doom, but with proper nouns swapped out. Yeah, basically, sort of. It's, it's more like, it's definitely a lot more uh, other dimensional and eldritch terror-y, and it's talk about time portals and slipping into the velvet ether and shit like that. So there's. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Dissolution of Eternity! Welcome, Gamer, to the Dissolution of Eternity! Hey, uh, oh. Oh, yo! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> That's great! Oh my god! <laughs> the hallway into, into hard is shaking. So it like, sh it, like, it like wiggles you into the. <laughs> Wiggles you into the lava. That's great. Oh my god. How trolly. They want to make sure that you're ready to just get paddled. Hip, hip, hip. No! <laughs> Here, hip, no! Oh my god, this is so stupid. Oh, 
here, here, here. Actually, I think there might actually be something to this. Like maybe they, you have to like be able to bunny hop and then hit this ramp and then just like fly across this whole hallway. Yeah, that's the first challenge of the hard playthrough. Absolutely. Arr, I'm in lava. Hold on a minute. Ha! Ah, eat it. Eat it. I'm sure that's as hard as it'll ever get. Let's go back to... Oh, good. I just do things. I just do them. I see them and I do them. And I don't question it and I just do it. And damn it. <laughs> oh. All right. What do we got? I think there's levels. Yeah, here we go. First episode, Hell's Fortress. That's two episodes, I guess. The Corridors of Time. This drum set's opening up, though. This sounds way more like Doom music. Like Doom 1. I guess I am going to Hell's Fortress. Oh shit, man, the Quake guitar was just about to kick in. I heard it. Alright, oh, this is spooky. Huh! It's a little disappointing that there wasn't like a text... A text block setting up this episode. Who am I going after? You, like, you typically don't even know until the end of the first episode we, like, already killed something important. I don't think Ranger would go out here shooting everyone unless he had a solid motivation. There's a shortage of lore. I mean, it is Quake. Quake never tried to lie to you and say that it was going to be more focused. I think I wouldn't mind a paragraph or two of establishing text, setting things up. Wasn't the soundtrack written by Trent Reznor? So I think, I think, and I could be wrong, this is also just my sense having listened to it, that the original Quake was made by Trent. But I don't think the expansion packs were worked on by him. Uh, that's just my gut. I didn't like look at, like Google it at all. Now, that means that some of the sound effects you're hearing were from Quake 1, like the guns and the enemies. Uh, I think the music, though, is probably not him. Like, this sounds Trent Reznor E, but it's, it's too, like, I hate to say it, but too kind of bland for him. It would be like textured and broken and fucked up and if it and the music he made for quake one is also isn't like this it's super like ethereal and weird and dissonant and it kind of floats around and lilts in and out yeah i don't i don't think trent reznor would put a piano going do 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 i mean maybe he would but Seems unlikely. And I know because he's my boyfriend. And we kiss. Yeah. Me and Trent Reznor kiss. We do. I'm sorry if that makes you upset. But it's true and it happens. And he likes it and I like it. And it's not hurting anyone so we're going to keep doing it. Yeah. Just part. Oh God damn it! Sorry, that's just part of who I am. I gotta be true to that. I gotta be true to that. You aren't allowed to tell me I can't do it. You, you can't. You are not allowed to tell me that I can't kiss Trent Reznor. Okay. Let me just. Let me just nip that in the bud right now. Let me nip it in the bud. No one's allowed to tell me that. I didn't. I didn't plan on announcing that tonight, but I did. So. That's how it goes. Makes me jealous. It's okay to be jealous. You can be jealous. I would be jealous of me. Yeah, that's fine. 
Jealousy is allowed. It's kind of interesting, the intensity of this map has dialed way back to, like, Quake 1 status 2. The first expansion was getting pretty goddamn wacky with some of those maps. Just downright silly. Ugh. Alright, I don't know why I didn't pick that up. <laughs> Thank you, Pipes. Oh no! Oh, I'm back in my hated place! Ah, uh, I don't have... No! I fell off the... I fell off the thing! Here we go. Yes, yes! Oh, ammo back here too? Good! Ten health. Uh. Oh, I think they ended up fighting. That's nice. Everyone loves the square axe, yeah. Eh, 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 eh. Got pretty salty with this mission pack, yeah? Did you play this in the day? This one gets this one gets pretty thick, I take it then. Hey, gun run! Thank you very much for the sub. We are indeed Quake Gaming. The boat has been released. Oh crap, I should have been on the boat. Oh. Maybe the boat will come back. That's fine. Gives me time to... Now he must swim. <laughs> Maybe it'll come back. Maybe. I'll give it time to come back. Nearly goth. Thank you for the prime. Sorry, I missed that a while ago. Lava nails? Wait, what? Lava nails? Lava nails. There's lava nails now. Lava nails. Okay. No boat! Ah! Uh, it just goes back and forth. That's all. I missed it. I missed it again! I thought you had hit the button to let it go! I would never play this back in the day. I was still playing Nintendo like a little bitch. Okay. I'm curious how salty it'll make me then. Uh, always curious from the anecdotes from from the elder gamers. Stories from the before time. Part of my project to actualize the world's gamers. Look at this! Half-Life ain't got shit! Oh, those are fire nails. Ooh! ay 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 ya Ah! Fire nails! I think that's supposed to be like the hissing of the... God damn, ow, 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 ow. Yeah. Feel the burns. Yeah. It's like I'm really shooting fire nails. Okay, good, they're fighting. This was awesome too. Outside of a little bit, Dad let me play Visitari. This was my first video games. Same for me, actually. I don't know. That feels like I feel pretty uh, cognitive biasy. I guess everyone thinks that their times are special. I guess I don't know. I feel like for video games, that's a pretty good window to come in on. It's just when ah! oh, games are starting to take a little more form, something a little more expressive than just like an an art. I mean, arcade games are cool, but they were, they were like, sideshow attractions most of the time, so... There was still artistry there, but... To, like, create an experience, uh... And something that is an experience unto itself, rather than, like, an excuse to... 
like a five minute diversion. That's kind of like NES is kind of where that transition started to happen. I guess maybe on PC around that, around the time before that. Yeah, tsh. Ooh, the steam, tsh. Fire nails. Oh! Oh! Fire nails, tsh. Hey! Dead? Where? I need a secret right now. Ah! Are you a secret? That was kind of cool. A wall opening. No! Quick man can't swim because it's evil water. Yes, that is true. The water's not extreme enough for him, so he yelps. That's the sound of Quake Man. Getting his extremity sapped away. But yeah, I think, um, I think the yelps and yerps from Quake Guy, or Ranger, are Trent Reznor. That's my understanding. Somebody in chat said it. And it seems, it seems like a fun thing to believe, so I'm gonna go for it. Uh-oh. <laughs> what did I say to the drawbridge? Ah, uh, that's funny. an extension of the no death run. No. I'm very much allowed to die. <laughs> Just playing on hard for the gamer style. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I was kind of hoping for something a little more weird, I guess. When it comes to, uh... When it comes to this deal, or this DLC. This expansion. Maybe these are... These seem like maybe they're intended to be, like, technical levels. Really, like, dense. Lots of rooms and alien... or, uh... On aliens. Enemies to shoot. Secrets to find. Uh. I think I might... What I was hoping for, I guess, is more of a, like... More ridiculous architecture and weird moods. I want Bryce 3D renders, but in the Quake engine, damn it. This music's kind of out there. I just... It's the same place? Yeah, it is. Oh, this is just under there. Okay. Yeah, that would have been nice to have before the Shambler. I've learned that's kind of what these maps do. Is they give you- they give you a ridiculous challenge and then maybe somewhere nearby they hide a power-up or something that kind of makes it easier or more- more approachable. Multi-rockets? You have my attention. Ooh. 
Say what, Quake? Say what? I need a rocket launcher first, though. Ow! Oh, the soundtrack is out of control. Imagine a dude at his, like, keyboard in his studio in, like, L.A. He's got, like, a ponytail and round glasses on. Ripping out these licks. Shit, man, where do I... Is there nowhere to go? Nowhere else to go up here? That's weird. Okay. Oh, well, there's stuff back there. Boss Mikey, I am quaking. You gonna play that JRPG today or only quake? Uh, I'm going to play this, and then I'm going to play a very Japanese game called Beat Mania. It's a rhythm game. Uh, basically, I'll play some ridiculous electronic music with a ridiculous giant controller. Uh, but it's got some weird... It's got some weird videos and cool tracks. But it's not, it's not that JRPG. Not today, anyway. That's up next. After I... Quake my guts out. All part... I was I was seriously trying to meat hook there and wondering why it wasn't working. Uh, all part of the week of streams! Uh, here at Twitch TV slash Sirlar. Yeah, you probably seen me stream that before. Hopefully you had a good time. Oh, and then I gotta go to sleep. Oh my gosh, that's right. I'm just so low on health all the time. Uh, where did I go? There was like a door that was open back here. Still waiting for Lost Odyssey to come back? Ah, I do need to bring it back, don't I? What a beautiful game that is. Although, maybe... Austin, consider this. What about Fantasian? Part two. Yeah, Sonic Unleashed. I'll probably be playing this coming week sometime. Uh, I want to get Steph on here so we can play Back for Blood or Men of Medan. I got the audio equipment to uh, to get her on without like any echoing or anything like that. So excited to set that up. Battlefield Beta leave you wanting more. It did. I had a good experience with it. Uh, I did. I can. After having read some of the complaints that people had, though, I can get why some people didn't, weren't super enthused by it. What the? Or rather, I, I understand the things that people wanted that they didn't see in that game. What the? Where did I go? That's right, over here, right. I... Wonder what progression is going to be like in the new battlefield? It's a good question, since you have all the mods and stuff. That's a mean hallway. That's the same one that got me before. Okay. I really don't have... I guess I have fire nails. Ooh, tss. Feel the fire. Tss. Ah, so hot. Had to go down to regular nails. What? God, 
<sighs> the shotgun sucks for those guys. game rules. See the gameplay video of Elden Ring. I didn't actually. There was a gameplay video? Was it was it a leak? Was it leaked content? Oh no, I didn't see it. Didn't it? That? That's not necessarily new, is it? Just a guy walking around? Hmm. But maybe my gamer eyes can see something new. Can pierce the veil. Deep analyze the ones and zeros. I'm talking deep analysis. Deep analysis. I didn't see the new, uh, didn't see the new Suicide Squad stuff. I've been streaming all day, so no, I haven't watched it yet. But, Gotham Knights, pretty cool. I like Rocksteady a lot. I'm into it. Do, 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 do. Genius. Love it. It's like I'm there. I can feel the heat radiating off. Ah. Ooh. accomplished author what's up haven't seen you stream in a while want to say hey hope you're doing good i'm doing great i hope you're doing good as well I appreciate the check-in too i'm here i'm gaming feeling good in good health mind sharp gaming skills razor precise oh okay and he he nails yes. Who? <laughs> Jesus. Holy moly. That's a good cat there, how tough am I? Like that cat. Ooh! <laughs> Who knew Knight's Armor was so protective against heavy firepower? It's frustrating! Need some anti night bullets. Well, I didn't get a key. That's concerning. Aha! Is that a grenade launcher? That'd be delightful. I'd take one of those, please. Thank you. When you watch her, grenade launcher. Wait a minute. Multi grenades! I like how multi grenades has an exclamation point in the name. Can I pick that up? Oh, oh! I thought I was gonna get a sweet sword. Ow! Oh, so haunted! No! What? There can't be haunted swords! Good quake. God, look at him go, though. These, these guys are jerks. It just hits the ground, dink. Really? That was spooky. 
Oh my gosh. Do, 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 do. Got the lava nails. Like every every lava <laughs> item is very excited to be here. You guys, I wanna I wanna share you in on a little personal journey I've been on. I have to admit, I think for a while I was putting too many I was the person putting too many exclamation points in my emails. I think it was me. Too enthusiastic for no reason. But I've dialed it back. I've dialed it back a little bit. I've tried to keep things a little more a little more profesh. I think it's going well. Yeah, I was that guy. I was that guy. I was excited. Whenever I send an email, it's for a good reason, typically. I wouldn't I wouldn't over emote in like Shitty little, like, what, you know what? That's like, what do you want for lunch? It wouldn't be like, thank you so much for emailing me! I would like a turkey sandwich! Wouldn't really be like that. But like, you know, I was getting to know somebody for the first time, first email. I might drop a... I wouldn't use like five, alright? I just meant that like, I would use one. Which is often even too much for an email. No, 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 I, you guys are misunderstanding, I feel like. I feel like one per email is good. Exactly, Knife Dog, yeah. That's kind of more what I mean. Now I look at an email and I'm like, is this, is this subject matter really warrant two entire exclamation points? Because I'm not sure it does. Now right, let's trim it back. And I'll tell you what, even though the, uh, the prospect has terrified me, uh, <laughs> uh, even though the prospect has terrified me, I've even sent emails that don't have any. No, just periods, periods and questions, and that's it. Perhaps it's too, it's too, uh, it's not friendly enough, you might say. You might say that. But I, I told you I'm on a bold journey. I'm on a bold and scary journey. I'm doing it because who else is going to? The government? Yeah, right. Good luck. Good luck getting those fat cats in Washington to do anything. You ever spiced up an email with an entero bang? No. That seems a little... That seems a... Well... Don't let me... Don't let me comment... Uh out of turn on, on your, uh, your signature, your signature punctuation, but I feel like a Natero Bang is a bit show-offy. Wow, I got really pushed into a corner. Ooh. It's a little, it's a little braggy. A little braggy for my taste. I feel like situations rarely warrant it. I feel a little self-conscious if I even, even correctly use a semicolon. I feel like I'm, I'm trying to flourish too much. You're gonna finish Sonic, Sonic Unleashed? Huh. <laughs> How long is Sonic Unleashed? Chill on the exclamation point, Scooter. This is a business correspondence. Hollow, empty, lifeless business. Yeah, you gotta, gotta be professional. Send email with your pants on. Actually, I don't do that. Pretty much ever. Actually, I have to be honest. I'm lucky if there's one layer of cloth between my genitals and the air when I email these days. Sometimes too, if it's like, if I'm going to a wedding or something. Much like wear Sonic's arms. Too long! <laughs> yeah, he does have big old long, long arms, doesn't he? Because it's like, he like swats them around. It's like the God of War blades, except they're wolf wolf hands. Sonic, Sonic wolf hands. I'm excited to play Sonic Unleashed because there's a lot of Sonic related questions that I've had about the process of him turning into a werewolf that I'm excited for the game to address in detail. How did I get a quad? What? When did that happen? Love that sound. Swordman Eggle, you're drunk? Good stuff. It is Saturday after all. One would hope. A sober Saturday is a, a frugal Saturday, a sad Saturday. 
Except I'm, you know, I'm not drinking, but I'm glad you are. Congratulations. Welcome to the weekend. A few drinks. A few quakes. Eh. I was hoping that would do something. I did, though. Cool. I can use that, actually. Do I go this way? No, I've been this way. There's dead stuff. It's late here in Iceland. Yeah? yeah? I guess it's just hitting the evening hours for me. My neighbors sounded like they were gearing out to have a little party. I'm hoping that that, hoping that, that happens. I could hear a band tooting out some tunes. Never press send while your dick was out. I it has to have happened. Like only on email or on on anything. Have I ever dispatched a digital file with my business in the open air? Anything? Oh yeah, yeah. It's, I don't see how not. Even if I have no physical recollection of it. I have to say that it has happened. I have to. It's the only it's the only right thing way to say what? The underwater passage. Good news, everybody. I've unlocked the underwater passage. Which is a real solid win for everyone right now. Ah. Almost 3 a.m. here. I was working late, then had some cold ones while riding, and now me. Well, I'm glad to be part of your evening. I once read a work-related mail while in the bathroom and told myself I can, can't bill for this. Wait, what? Bathroom time is billable time. The very least the world's bosses and employers can do is pay us to pay us to pinch loaves. That's the very least. We've earned it. Ah, uh, the underwater passage is maybe over here? I feel like it should be this door, but it's not. It's definitely not. Yes, glass. I love that. I love that saying so much. Oh, here we go, I guess. Oh. Video games are sick. Best pooping is during company time? It's true rubber. I will say though that like... Alright. So as as good as a company poop can be... I do get... I do get a little bit of a kick sometimes in the morning. Of doing my constitutional and thinking... I could just sit in here for an hour if I wanted to. And no one would come in asking what's going- actually, actually, Stephanie might. She might be- she, OW! She might ask if I'm, I'm hurt or something, but still. That's pretty nice. But still, time is money. Time squeezing it out is not time gaming in front of the masses. Spreading the good word of- I don't know. I, would come, I, got, I was hoping a name would come to me before I got here. Gameology? That's ah, too- too basic. Yes! Wait. Oh, multi-rockets. Yeah, what's this all about? Oh! Well, that's exactly what it says. Okay. Anyway. When was the last time you had a full-on bath? Actually, it hasn't been that long. Although, it's good that you asked, because it usually is a very long time, but... Uh... When Steph and I were in Vegas, we stopped in at, like, a place so Stephanie could check out some stuff, and they gave us a bath bomb, because they were going to throw it away, I guess. And then Stephanie was out traveling. 
And I figured she was going to use it, but then she didn't. But then she'd gone and she was like in Poland. So I was like, uh. So I was just sitting here around the house alone and I was like, you know what? It's time for me to have a sensual night. So I used my very first bath bomb. And this is what I learned. I learned something. You're not supposed to just like drop the bath bomb in and just expect it to swirl around and like it doesn't. I thought it was supposed to like fizz and distribute itself with the power of science and chemicals and shit. Uh, but it didn't really do that. It just kind of sat there. So then I put it under the faucet, like where the water was hitting. And then it started like spreading all around and sudsing up and stuff like that. So that's my that's my top tip for my single bath bomb experience is to put your bath bomb uh, under the faucet where the water's hitting. So it'll get all splashed around. I always thought time is more valuable than money. Money, mainly because no matter how much money you have, you can never buy back yesterday. You can't buy back yesterday, but you can... Oh! You can, uh, you can add to your life, I think. You can buy more time. Like, if you run out of money in this world, there may be medical conditions and quality of care that... Well, I guess in this country. Huh. <laughs> You gotta be as rich as Elon so you can freeze your DNA and shoot it into space or something. Where? It said the underwater passage. Oh wait, I guess I should go down to where the water was. Except I'm going up. Oh. Is this where I need to go? I think this is where I need to go. It is! Alright. What the? Like, angle of the walls actually really changes how the grenade launcher works. That's really interesting. Today is- yesterday is in the past, tomorrow is in the future. The day is a gift. That's why they call it the present. I love it. I love it, and I love that you use the gonky little anime man. Am I really out of shotgun shells? Weird. I love that emote. DeviantArt version of me, I think. <laughs> the eyes are all walled out. Oh, it's so good. It needs to be in cursive on a rich white wo woman's wall. I'm sure it is. Jesus, no, for real? He shoved me all the way back into the lava. Oh, man. <laughs> AC. Excellent emote usage. Fire nails kind of seem like nails. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that out there. Huh. I need to keep getting stuck. What the? Super lava? Whoa. Oh, the nail gun can be a lava nail gun. Alright. That's gonna have to cool down extra hard now that it's all hot. It's so hot all the time. All those fire nails. You can kind of tell that the lava textures for the guns haven't quite been smoothed over quite as much. That's okay. People won't see them as much. I'm 
Looks like bullets don't collide with the blades. Which is nice. But a little disappointing. Kung Fu Panda is an anime. That's how the, the council has decided. The anime elders. Thanks. Thanks for showing me, Pops. I'll take those power-ups now. There's a saying, you waste your health to get money when you're young, and you waste all your money to take care of your health when you're old? Hmm. I feel this every time I travel, I see both types of people. Broke young people in hostels and old people staying in nice hotels. That's just the path of life, though, isn't it? I feel like as you spend longer on this planet, and you work longer, and you get better at your craft, and what you do becomes more valuable because it has all of your experience built into it. I feel like it kind of makes sense. Well, when you're young, your work isn't super useful. Or maybe you just haven't had the time to uh, get rich friends. I don't know. Oh. Big Trouble in Little China is an anime. It's got, it's got anime energy for sure. Pacific Rim is an anime. Oh, man. Okay. Ooh. Big spooky caverns. I'm starting to see some more unique locations, I guess. Shrek's an anime. Oh. Oh, fuck these things. Ugh, hate those things. What was the first anime? Uh, Growing Pains. Price is Right, I think? I don't know, I don't know much about anime. What's rumbling? Something rum something's all rumbly. The first anime was Goku. That 80s show? Oh yeah, yes, the 80s show. Starring Kirk Hamilton and... No, wait. Wait, he was on that, wasn't he? At some point. Michael J. Fox. Shit. The anime. Well, son, I've explained it well. It means money is good, but always at the expense of health. Once you have it, you spend it to cure you. It makes more sense in French. I get it. I, th I think I understand. Um, and certainly the fact that it's a uh, European axiom means that it's not, uh, I don't think, necessarily super applicable to how, how life or how things are done in the United States. But yeah, certainly in the U.S., uh, trading away your health for... For success is is glamorized that rise and grind shit 24 7 sigma male grind set mentality i mean i'm doing a, a week-long stream so whatever but but i i have things to allow me to step away from it so i don't have to grind through those things i can be kind to myself sustainable gaming that's where we're all, we're all about here Did i already hit that one? Oh, okay Trading your health for gaming? Yeah. And anyone would tell you that's a good idea. And something you should do. As much as you can. Early and often, I think is the, the tagline. Trade your health for HP. Exactly. 
I'm gonna make a new gaming system where you have to power it with your blood. You gotta find a vein, stick in a needle, and sucks your blood out. But it provides the sweetest games. What's up, Pop-Tart? How are you doing? Just got off work. Hope you are all well. I'm pretty good. Pretty good. I've been gaming hard. Starting the week of streams pretty well. Played some Doom Eternal. Did a lot better than I thought I would, which is great. Now I'm just playing some OG Quake. Finished up the first expansion pack. Moved on to the second. It has fire nails. Which are very cool. Yeah, I hope your shift went well. You know, people people can be exhausting people. Did that just check for blood sugar levels? Yeah. <laughs> My gaming console, the reason it needs your blood is so that it can check your vitals. And it can warn you if you've not been eating right. And the more healthy you are, the better the gaming experience it provides. It actually, it's it's coordinated with your, your body to be in symbiosis with your body. Uh... If if you are if you are if your body is clean, then your gaming will will play cleanly, just to motivate you. But yeah, it sucks your blood straight out and then sells it. Or rather, I from that I extract all of your DNA information and I sell that all. I, I sell it to uh, medical pharmaceutical companies. And then I keep all of the money for myself. Glass brain, exactly. Turns your turns your blood into an NFT, and immediately posts it for an asking price of fifteen thousand dollars. But you get to play a six sweet video game. Isn't that cool? That's cool. That's cool. I think that's cool. I think you should all buy it and save up for it. Because it costs a lot of money, too. It's not free. I'm going to charge a lot of money for it. I feel like there's something in that area I haven't done yet. I talked about underwater passage, but I, sw I swear, last time they said that, nothing about underwater passages ever happened. But Hope everyone's been going well. We got slammed with parties and little kids. Ah, constantly had to tell kids not to run around because they were elderly and all sorts of people trying to get around. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, well, I guess it's good that business is good, but still, man, that sounds exhausting. I'm trying to pinch hit for parents that just can't be bothered. Can it store blood and pump more into you when you need a gamer boost? It can, but it won't. It keeps all the blood, because it wants it. <laughs> it doesn't want you to have it. That's just how it goes, I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, I do. Actually, I do. I literally do, but... Okay, here we go, yeah. To be fair, there was a big ol' arrow there telling me where to look. Shaky again. Oh! This is a neat concept, I guess. The entire level goes goes shaky and rumbly every so often.
Why am I in here? Oh. Travelech, thank you very much for the sub. Huh? I guess I'm supposed to jump on there from up there. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So why is there a little ledge, ledge here? What's that all about? Ah! I don't know, that seems suspicious. Bob caps, hey. What's up? Just some big gaming? Just gaming like I do, you know. Probably gonna finish out this level and then I might take a little break. A little break ski. Make some more food. Rest up a little bit. And then I'm gonna crack open a very weird and very difficult Japanese rhythm game, because of course I am. I want to get into the habit of playing a little more. Getting better. The better I am, the more whatever I end up playing sounds like music. So, that's that's a plus. That's most of my motivation for playing that, is like, trying to represent the music better. ETA for that game, uh, maybe an hour and change? Hour and a half, something like that. Ooh, a minecart sequence! Let's go! Yay! Aw, keep hands and feet inside the car. That's cute. That's cute. We're having a good time. We're just quaking. So, so hot. Okay, fine. Yeah. I'm supposed to drop down here? Ah! Uh. Ooh! Uh, is it Sober October? Wait, what? For the week-long stream? I- I don't know that I'll be drinking a whole lot if that's what you're asking. Oh, should we expect THC Tuesday slash Thursday, etc.? Hmm, I suppose. I- that's usually sometimes more about the theming of the game selected than it is, uh, intense amounts of indulgence. But Tuesday? Oh, wait, I don't know if- I don't know what I have going on on Tuesday. I don't think I've got anything else. Sometimes it can be rough if, like, I'm playing with other people. I don't want to show up just completely ass smashed uh, to play with somebody else. Unless it's Resident Evil 6, and then I feel like it's expected. You'd be offended if somebody showed up sober. Jellyfish, thank you for the cheer. Trend to love Tuesday. Only Pathfinder on Tuesday. Where'd you go? Where are you?
Sasha Gray's been trying to beat Sekiro for maybe the entire year. Gotta respect that. You do, actually. That's some really, uh... That's some great stick to itiveness. Ooh. Why didn't that hurt me? That's rad. It took me longer than that to beat a. Uh, Doom Eternal on Ultra Nightmare. That was like a year and change. She'll get it. This lift? Ah! Well, you ever seen a Return of Prime or other M gameplay for a THC Tuesday? Oh, I'm definitely gonna go back to both of those games at some point. I wasn't... I wasn't disgusted by other M. I was weirded out by its story. Um, and, in, you know, gameplay's quirky, but... I feel like that's most Wii games that try to be something other than... Like a minigame collection or something? Ugh. What's wrong with me? Wait, did I already get all the goodies up here? Yeah, Resident Evil 6 is so great. We need to repost those on Inside Games, actually. I think a new audience might be able to watch those. Those, those edits were super, super good, too. Man. Some... some... Classic YouTube content. Other M is very weird because the story is just gross, but the gameplay and level design is really solid for the time. Yeah, I agree. Actually, I didn't have much of a problem with the the actual game. The story's gross. It's uncomfortable. God damn it. 69 armor, nice. Ever check out Last Story on Wii? I did. I didn't finish it, but yeah. God damn it. That was one of Sakaguchi's swan songs. Which again... Got Fantasian Part 2. I'm really excited to get to that. But yeah, definitely gonna finish up both those games. I, I mean, Prime, Prime is just a delight. And Other M is weird. Ah! Other M is an interesting vision. Like, there are very few earnest attempts to try to make, like, a big gamer game on the Wii. Uh, uh, and I feel like that's one of them. Without without using a nunchuck, no less. That's what's what's outrageous about other M. What the? Oh, okay. <laughs> Jump into the tube. Oh, what's this though? A new dimension of terror. Look at these doors. These doors look gnarly. One of the enemies sounds like it says bruh every time it gets hit. Bruh. Why you gotta do that? Oh, spooky door. Plasma? What the heck is, is plasma this? Oh, wait. What? Huh. What? I guess every gun kind of has alternate ammo, except for the shotgun. Huh. So that was the big deal with this expansion. There's more guns! Well, that's impressive. if that's better or not. I forgot about multi-rockets. Huge! 
feel a little random in how they spread. Oh, that sound is so silly. Oh, oh. Oh, the the vat vat sound. Hold on a second. I'm out of I'm out of hot nails. No, I'm sorry. But yeah. Pshht. What's weird is it was originally the sound of like panels sliding. It played when an animation happened with a UI, where, like panels would slide out of the way, and then you had access to like combat controls. But in Vault in like Fallout 3, they kept the sound, but it just kind of became the sound of like the camera zooming in, I guess. It's really interesting how oh, it just kind of like... The sound doesn't make the, the most sense in Fallout 3 or 4, but they kept it just out of, like, legacy. Like a reference. Uh, Sword, see ya. See you later. Thanks for dropping in. Have a good night. Go through the teleporter. Okay. I will. <clears throat> Where's the teleporter? I swear to God, I'll do it. Got armor. What the hell? Oh. Oh, yeah. The So the other M story, it's uncomfortable just because it's kind of cringy. It's like, it is big, like, woman written by man vibes. And, like, it's kind of insecure about that fact. It's just like, it treats... It makes special mention of her being female, and then is very kind of weird about it. It's more obsessed with her being female than, like, any of the games or a living human would be if they happen to be female. I think. That's kind of the weird thing about it. Whoever tied it to the Doom novel was spot on? Yeah. 100%. I've said this before, but... There's some smart cookies in this chat. Some clever... clever ducks. Oh! That was neat. Ooh! I'm here now! Do, 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 do. I may have panicked. Uh, I guess I can jump down there. Okay, good. It does reset. Also makes Samus obsessed about a child and be maternalistic just because she's a woman. Not all women have maternal capabilities, nor want to nurture a child. Yeah. Or is it the like singular personality trait that defines them and what they do every day?
I think, I think, t to a small degree, some of those themes are warranted because the, I think a lot of, a lot of uh, the original Metroid, and then of course, Super Metroid. A lot of that, a lot of that stuff was inspired by Ridley Scott's Alien, and then Aliens. To me, the showdown at the end of Super Metroid and the baby and all that crap, pretty similar to like Ripley versus the. The Queen Metroid, which itself has very strong protective, protective maternalist overtones because it's two mothers fighting over protecting their kids. It's kind of what Aliens is about. So, to some degree, it does have... a uh, Metroid, I think, does have a pretty tenuous artistic link to female protagonists and motherhood. Um, and being a, a, mother, a maternal protector, I think. I think uh, very especially that. Um, but Other M, Other M, like, didn't consciously acknowledge that. It, like, accidentally got there, too. And not even in a way that would, you know, as nearly as, as nuanced and interesting and watchable and cool as, like, aliens. Damn it. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Who knows? Game's not over. Who knows what's gonna happen? The end... Man, the plot at the end of Dread kind of went... I guess I guess I didn't... I really had very... almost no expectations for a Metroid plot. I can't... can't expect it. I did not expect it would be that, like... I don't know, transhumanist and weird and... aggressive and, and kind of brutal. How do we get out? Oh, okay. Ow. Oh wait, I got I got the key. What does that mean? Maybe I can leave now. I have zero shotgun. I have plenty of rockets though. Holy cow, okay. I moved on from Metroid as an intellectual property. That's fine. Dread is Dread is good. Worth, worth a ride, but... It's definitely not worth savoring as an intellectual property, I think, yeah. It's about the experience, it's not about the curation of a... of a universe, or of, of even of characters, really. It just is what it is. As a game, though, it's... it's pretty great. Am I gonna get suckled again? No? Okay. tricked me. I can go in here now. Now I get suckled. Uh oh. I think I'm supposed to be getting suckled. Oh dear. I didn't get properly suckled. This sucks. Or it doesn't suck. Oh no! That stupid little ghost was in the way and made me fall in between the cracks of the pipe. Dang it! Arr. How do we get back there? <laughs> That's why you're excited for more trans, queer, and non-binary characters in games. One's to make the cis boys uncomfortable and think, and two, to further explore sex and gender and all of that in safe and fictional sandbox. Yeah, a lot of that stuff is kind of done in the indie space now. Unfortunately, one thing you'll have, like, to some degree, it'll get there, but, uh, I'm trying to think of how to phrase this. Mass market stuff tends to be broadly palatable because that's what makes it m mass market. And I'm not saying those things are not palatable. I'm just saying that, like, there's always going to be, I think, uh, an element of sameness to mass market properties. And I'm not sure that people go to mass market entertainment to specifically have their beliefs and and convictions questioned and, and, and confronted and all that. 
Now, I, I think, it, you know, I'm not putting any words, I hope I'm not putting any words in your mouth, because the aspect of that where, like, just because of inclusion and diversity, certain ideas are destigmatized and, and people get a little more familiar and comfortable with them. That's, that's the good version of it. So, I, it is nice to see that pro- oh, here we go. It is nice to see that process happening, I hope. Like, the things- the things that used to freak people out- God damn it. The boundaries have been pushed so far in, uh, frankly, a short amount of time. It's kind of nice. Yeah, you wouldn't want token inclusion in mass market games, that's just pandering. Yeah. There we go. I'm trying to get the social credit brownie points. But then that bites off a whole, like, well, it's still doing it, isn't that a good thing? Oh, yeah, uh. It's one of those things you can think around, around, around and around in a loop about, and people have. Shamblers! The discourse. Oh, got them hot nails. Spicy nails. Fuck. What am I standing on? Oh. I was on his head the whole time. What is Lawrence's media project? Are you referring to media tech? You'll be seeing it very shortly, actually. It's what I it's what I put on every time I go to break, basically. It is a uh, a system that randomly plays short edited clips in a sequence that, depending on the viewer, might imply a certain relation. Or, oh God, there's so many things. Relative qualities. Oh my god. The adjacency of some videos might give them new meaning. But it's just good background noise apart from that. That's what I'm gonna lean on to keep the stream up for an entire week in between me being here hard gaming for the for the masses. It's a real quagmire, yeah. Cyberpunk was pretty good with being progressive because you know it's the year 2077. Yeah, I thought they did a really good job of presenting a world that just doesn't really care too much about that anymore. The, like, the media properties that they show in that world are just so far, like, it is truly beyond any bounds of good taste. Like, Watson Horror and, sh and shit like that. Or just the scummiest, like, people doing the scummiest stuff. Uh, and, like, gender just doesn't, doesn't matter. It's not even, like, mentioned, really. And, which is, like, how it ought to be when all those parts are detachable. Jesus fucking Christ. Is that a firework? God. That like shook the floor. Yeah. Ugh, I guess the Dodgers won. Oh wait, there's not a- is there a ball game tonight? Ugh. Oh, make a horror version of Media Tech. I will! Ludy McShooty. Um, one of the- one of the reasons that it's- has more form than just- it's a bunch of videos. Is that I have associated a lot of the clips with metadata that allows me to uh, play or create customized playlists of them. What's going on? What are you doing? So I can just make a Halloween themed playlist. And I will. Oh, I guess you have to run down. Okay. Oh, they lost? Oh, no. But the Braves won? So what does that mean? Are they in the playoffs? Are the Dodgers out? Yeah, I don't know what happens. Somebody, somebody break it down for me. Usually you only get fireworks in LA if the Dodgers win, but I guess if somebody's all amped up to set off fireworks, they're just gonna do it. Do you prefer Doom or Quake more for gameplay and level design? Hmm. I might prefer Quake 1 over Doom 1. Just because it, like, it being full 3Ds, it just gives so much more texture to the environments and stuff. It's they did a lot of fun playing with uh, 3D modeling and stuff in this game. And there was some of that in Doom. They really pushed the limits of what they could get away with in that engine. And seeing that experimentation is fun too, but... I don't know. This, this is just a little more cozy for me. Best of seven, Braves are 1-0. Okay, thank you. That's a perfect breakdown. Thank you, Multi. 
Okay, so there would have been many, many more explosions if Dodgers had won tonight. I only watch esports like a nerd. No, it's good. It's good. You're part of the future. You're the future of nerd. The true... the true nerd. The inheritor of the earth. There's like little Necronomicons on the bookshelf. I like see behind it. There's totally a secret back there. Maybe that's where, where I... It's the end of the level. Yeah, probably. Oh! Oh no! Oh, oh, he got sparkled. Nice. Yeah, okay. Just as I meant it to happen. Just as I intended. Just as I intended. Oh, another stone temple. I was curious if there was going to be a showstopper right inside the beginning of this level. Looks like we're back to catacombs and hallways. This is kind of like almost the first level tile set. So moody. I really hope, it's, again, I have this image. Maybe not LA this time. Somebody at id Software. Working on this map. They got a long ponytail. And they go to the bar and tell, tell ladies that they're, yeah, I'm a digital artist. And this is like in, you know, what, 96? Like, digital artist? What is that? I sculpt digital realms from my mind. Uh, man, I could have been that guy. I should have been that guy. Can you pick a weapon? Does it force you to swap if you have it? It does, but you can turn that off. Do they use that mechanism as a trap? I suppose they might, actually. Yeah, that seems like something this game might do. But yeah, you can, you can definitely disable that if, if you don't like it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take another break. It's time for dinner. Dinner time for this guy. I'm gonna cook something. You know, for lunch I had cauliflower linguine and chicken sausage and spinach. So that was healthy. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make another healthy thing for me, myself. Maybe Steph, if I can convince her to let me cook for her. Actually, wait, she made chili, Max. I might just have that. Well, I gotta look, look at my nutrients, see where I'm at, but. All right, I'm gonna be back again. Uh, in a little bit with Beat Mania. So I'm gonna eat, take a bit of a break, and then I gotta do setup for Beat Mania. It requires putting a controller on, framing up a webcam. A couple things to do there, but it won't take too long. And then I'll be back with some late night jams. Yeah, still playing Beat Mania. So, another break here. Uh, this is the media tech I was referring to before. But I will be away from stream for a while, but there will just be random clips playing if you want some background noise. But I do thank you all very much for watching. Uh, I have a... I, I don't know. I really, really enjoy games, and I enjoy sharing them with people. I enjoy having or having people either talk about the game, their experience with it, just their day, anything. Connecting to people through games is what, it's what keeps me alive. All right. Thank you all very much again, and I'll be back. See you guys soon. The